Consider how a watchkeeper on the bridge interacts with the systems on board. Normally, information about the ships around is received by sight, voice, and data. The watchkeeper's brain filters the information received. It processes only the important information to determine how it should be acted upon. Based on the processed information, the brain selects an appropriate response. The watchkeeper interacts with the bridge navigation system according to the chosen response. After responding, the watchkeeper receives feedback on its effectiveness. This helps the brain to measure how the system is responding. Near misses and accidents occur when the interaction of humans with the IT-enabled systems is inadequate or ineffective. Barriers prevent information from reaching the user. For a watchkeeper, these can be poor visibility, heavy weather, radar limitation, failed or unavailable alarms, and lights. Better design can often correct these issues. The failure can be on the part of the human, too. A watchkeeper who is preoccupied with some other work would not act on the information available. This has to be addressed by better working practices. The human should be capable of organizing the information presented and then prioritizing the critical ones. Systems should be designed such that important and urgent inputs must stand out from others. Training and experience will help the watchkeeper to identify the important signals, but system design is the key to correcting these issues. An incompetent watchkeeper may misinterpret the information received. This will lead to a wrong or slow response. This can also happen when the watchkeeper analyzes feedback. On-the-job training and experience will increase the probability of correct interpretations. A system failure can lead to a lack of feedback. The watchkeeper receives adequate information, selects appropriate response, and the system responds. But, the ship responds slowly, and there is no proper feedback or not enough time to respond. Better system design and customization to match ship capabilities will help. Periodic testing of the systems to ensure that they act as designed is a must.